Good morning, everybody, and I'd like to welcome you to the first Bishop Montgomery Virtual Signing Day. Congratulations to all of our athletes, and we wish you the best in your future. Uh, my name is Cyan. I play basketball, and I'm going to be going to Fermi University. Um, so my favorite memory at Bishop is um, probably senior night because it was like really good to have like all my friends and family around and just like it was like a really good energy with the team and it was like one of our best games of the season and uh, I want to thank coach Quinn, coach O, coach G, coach Camille, um, coach Taylor for like just being there and supporting me on and off the court and I also want to thank my family and my AAU coaches for helping me get there. Um, Cyan had an amazing four years with me. I think she grew as a player. I'm super excited that she has an opportunity to continue to play basketball. Obviously, she's a smart kid. Getting into college wasn't going to be an issue, but um, just a joy to coach over the four, over her four years. Her growth has been amazing. Um, this year, 27 rebounds in one game. It ties the school record. Um, it just kind of a testament to her work ethic, to her ability to impact the game, not just by scoring, but going to get rebounds, doing the dirty work, um, being a great teammate and being a competitor and um, just always um, um, exuding what I would like as a coach um, and standing for what's right and uh, representing her family, her friends, um, and Bishop Montgomery to the fullest. So I'm super, super, super proud of Sai and all of her hard work. I know it's not gonna stop here. Um, just an amazing career and just the development. I was um, very, very impressed and I'm just honored to be her coach and I'm, I'm very excited to follow her career. So congrats Sai and congrats, congrats everyone. I'm Brinson. Um, I play football and I'm gonna be attending the University of Arizona as a walk on to the football team. Uh, my favorite memory here uh, playing football, uh, probably the playoff game my junior year versus Gary, mostly because of like all the energy in the stadium. Everyone was like cheering, they're all hyped. And uh, I had a pretty good game. And uh, even though we lost, uh, I feel like um, I still like love the team. I love all the energy in the stadium and yeah and I'd like to thank my parents all my coaches and all the sports I play uh they really helped me throughout the years seeing that uh I, was, I started football sophomore year and uh yeah one or two things about uh about Brenton um as a football player um and you know he mentioned it that he he uh, he didn't come out for football until his sophomore year so He's really only been playing football for three years, and um, he's a he's a, a pretty special player. He's been a special player for us, and he's got a ton of talent. He's broke some school records this this year, um, and and broke a, a a career record for touchdown receptions in a season. So, um, you know, it's always kind of neat to to get your name in the record book. So, you know, Brenton, congratulations for that. That's that's a pretty awesome accomplishment. And, uh, you know, we um, we really wish you the best um, at U of A. So, you know, go out there and, and, uh, and get it done. Okay, my name is Autumn and I'll be attending California State University Bakersfield for volleyball. And some memories that I have as a volleyball player at Bishop um, is, uh, making it to the semifinals for um, the past two years in a row. And just the bond that I've built with my teams, like I will always be close with them. I will always be in, keep in contact with them um, in, my, in my future. And I wanna thank God first and foremost. I wanna thank my family, my parents, my brother, sister for um, their unconditional love and support. I wanna thank my teammates, my coaches, my teachers as well. And just like everybody who has helped me along this journey. And I really appreciate it. Um, just watching um, her played volleyball this year. Obviously, volleyball is her passion. But um, coaching her, being able to play two sports in general in high school while managing what 4.0 and above GPA was amazing, Autumn. And I think that um, you really you, you really grew in what you did on and off the floor. I, I, I was it was a joy to watch you play volleyball this year. Um, all that hard work you put in. <laughs> um, and obviously coaching basketball, it was your second sport, but you impacted our team and our program in a way um, that 
you know, I will never forget, you know, those playoff games or those games where you got rebounds and you defended players. Um, just um, very, very natural athlete. And obviously playing at the next level was your dream. And I'm super happy that you're, that it's come to fruition. Um, continue to put the hard work in, but you've had an amazing four years here at, at Bishop as well. And um, I think what, what's most impactful is what you do off the floor and what you do in the classroom. So congratulations and just keep working. Um, so I'm Kristen. Um, I'm gonna be running cross country and track for Lawrence University in Wisconsin. And um, one of my favorite memories of running cross country is um, when um, we were at CIF prelims this uh, last year, 2019, and we made CIF finals for the first time in, I think, 10 years. So that was a really, really awesome moment for the team and for me um, to just experience some, like, something that doesn't really happen too often in our sport. And I just want to thank my family, my friends, my, my teammates, Coach Brian, and all the other coaches who I've had in the past who have helped me to um, be a better runner and a better person. So. And what can I say about Kristen Oliver? Awesome, awesome member of our program. She's helped bring it up to a place that we have been trying to get to for a while. Her leadership, her running, her style, her determination. She's a great cornerstone of our program and we just hope that we can get more runners that are like her in the future for our program. Hey guys, I'm Ronaldo Rivera, a senior at Bishop Montgomery High School. Um, I run track and I plan on running track at Grand Canyon University. One of my favorite memories at Bishop would be when Brian um, brought me into his classroom and told me I would be captain. From when I started track, I did not look I would, like I was gonna be one of the leaders or one of the faster people on the team. So I really had to put in a lot of hard work to get where I am now. And I was really thankful that I was able to be a leader. Um, I would like to thank my co-captains for helping me lead the team. I would especially like to thank Jalen, he was my main co-captain for the sprinters. I would like to thank um, the team itself. They were a great team to have, even though I didn't get to have them the full year. I got to have them only for like two months. It was a great team. I would obviously like to thank my family and my um, parents for being there, for being almost at all the meets. They would help not just me, but they'd help the other kids too if they needed it. And um, I would like to thank obviously Brian for forcing me to do track. <laughs> he didn't really give me an option and I ended up falling in love with the sport. So thank you, Brian. You've been the best coach I could ask for. Ray Rivera, great kid. He um, had a goal when he was a freshman. He wanted to be a captain by the time he was senior, and he worked really, really hard to get to that goal. Um, he's dominated his curve of the track for the relays, and it's great to see him growing into a runner, one of the people that you don't expect to have a future in track and field, but I'm so great that he's going to continue running at GCU next year. Uh, so I'm Jinta, and then I'm going to be playing tennis at the United States Air Force Academy. And uh, I would say my favorite memory from uh, Bishop Tennis was probably my junior year as a whole because of just how well we did as a team and uh, how much we were able to bond. And I'm just really happy that I was able to do it uh, with, the, with the guys on the team. And, uh, if I could do it again, I would do it in a heartbeat. And then uh, I would like to thank my parents, friends, and all my coaches for helping me along the way and uh, just being supportive of my tennis. And uh, also I would like to say thank you to Coach Angel because she's just been an amazing coach uh, all four years that I've been on the tennis team. Hi, uh, my name is Coach Angel and I am thankful and honored to have Coach Genta, and I am confident that he will excel in high school, in any field in high school, and I hope he's continue playing tennis. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is a celebration of, of you guys and um, what, you, um, what you've done for yourselves and for the school and you know, I think I, again, I think I speak for everyone when I when I say that um, 
it, you know, it was really a joy to watch you all compete. And uh, we thank you for your, um, you're going out there and competing for the school and for yourselves and for your families. I think we're all really looking forward to watching you all compete and follow your careers. And, you know, there's great things ahead of you, um, not just in your, in your sport that you play, but in your lives, because you're all smart young men and women and um, have a lot going for you. This is Dr. Garza. I just want to congratulate you. Sorry I was late. Uh, got in just a few minutes ago, but I just wanted to uh, tell you once again how proud we are. We wish you continued success and all the best at the next level. So take care. Go Knights. Go Knights. Nice. Nice. Thanks. Congratulations, everyone. Nice.